Greetings, glorious gamers. This is Skirko119. Today I'm playing Smite, and today we are playing Aplash, the horrific god of decay in the mid lane. Um, I think I'm just going to go with the standard build, some pots, some boots, and a vampiric shroud. Um, Aplash is all about space control and burst. Yeah, he is so good at burst; it's just kind of sick. But the only problem is that his clear start is a little bit to be desired. So we are up against uh, an Isis on the enemy team. So it's probably going to be a bit tough for the first first half of the game. Purely because her clear is absolutely ridiculous. So a rundown of my skills is number one. I throw out corpses that run straight ahead. If they hit an enemy they explode and do damage and slow enemy gods. My, and they also drop corpses onto the ground. My number three is a circle targeter. I throw a corpse into the air, it falls on someone, it does air of effect damage, it does dot, dot damage, and also puts a corpse on the ground. My number two, I basically detonate corpses in an area. If the corpses detonate, they do loads of damage. Uh, number four is a big space control, air of effect, ticking damage. And it also does a little bit slow, I think. So I've used my three because that's got a lot of ticking damage to start off with and also places down um, a corpse. So the the jungle, the start meta um, with season three is still a bit up in the air. What normally happens is um, we've been resigned to doing the, the, the camps first, then going to lane. And I can't actually do. Can't actually help with this. Keep getting pushed out. Yeah, we'll just do the other side. That's a good idea, Fenro. So this Isis is already pushing me out really, really hard. The, the Shivalanki's got an early kill in the dual lane, which is great. And I've kind of stacked up my pots a little bit too much here. Me. Yeah, you can see she's already pushing me out hard. Missed the cops explosion there as well. Fun mood. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and stack up the wave here. She's probably going to do that to me though. Although we have got a good comp with the Fenrir and the Alplash. If he picks someone up and I ult them, that's like a lot of damage right there. Yeah. That's a good steal. Let's get you here. I need the jungle ball out of bed. I'm so dead here. Enemy missing right. Surely. Help. You did not think. Your left. 
Uh, oh, my <laughs> oh my god! Oh my! Oh my! Where the fuck is he? They are! Oh my god! Right, so we're just going to go into kill down because our flash with kill down is just ridiculous. Um, we've got to get mana. I think me freaking out at the start there and taking too much damage and taking too many pots um, just kind of wasted that a lot. Jesus Christ. Can a lot of fucking have like enemy incoming enemy missing enemy missing middle an enemy has been slain retreat down the face you rock just can have to stay back this back of Sura is constantly in mid. I'm, I'm, thank I'm lucky I've only died once. Your middle tower is under attack. On my way. Be right back. They're probably doing my buff or something. No, it's still up. It's interesting. So I'm still, to be honest, I'm not really too familiar on how to actually level up my skills and what to prioritise. Um, we normally say that the best way to go is with the, the one, but the number two to threatening proxy is also really important. Got this one. No? Shit these fucking creeps. Once you like you, that's it. Ah just ran it in mana. Yeah, mana's mana's a really big sticking point now. So we need to go into some kind of mana. Uh, HP5. Oh, Doom Orb. Oh, Doom Orb. The new Doom Orb. Forgot about that. Oh, we'll get some pots as well. So the Doom Orb um, is a stacking item that gives magic power and uh, you basically just get gives manic, magic power per stack and the amount you can get up to 50 stacks at 2, two uh, power per stack is actually kind of ridiculous. As long as we don't horribly feed then it should be fine. Oh Jesus. Dead. Oh, this guy is constantly in fucking mid. Oh, 
thinking maybe doom over isn't such a good idea. We'll probably just have to stay under the tower, like actually just stay under the tower, which is frustrating, but there's not much we can really do. I mean, I don't want the Fenrir to just sit and babysit my lane if he's not going to get anything from it, but at the same time, you know... See, my tower's already dead. What a fucking joke. Enemy missing metal. Be careful, left. Rampage. Your middle tower is under attack. Enemy missing right. Enemy missing metal. Yeah, they dived way too hard there. We might be able to get the shovel anchor out. No. Right, so I'm starting to get some BM from the enemy, from the front, from a team because I'm not rotating and they're pushing up behind enemy towers and wondering why the enemy mid laners there, you know? It's all about fucking geometry. It takes me like twice as long to rotate if you're on the other side of the map and it makes it twice as, twice as dangerous for me to, to do so. Fucking joke. I think he's coming. I think he's coming this way. Oh my god, see what I mean? Oh my god. Fucking hell. 
I thought he fucking heard him there, that's why I left. Jesus. Right, there's ISIS there. This way. Got to be careful with the ISIS though, I think she's starting to rotate as well. The Ravana is a little bit out of position. We'll see if we can. Have a look at him getting him out. Oh, there's fucking the Bawana. Retreat! Jesus Christ. Okay, so we're out, we've got to do more built. Um, where do we want to go next? Bollock Sash, that's a good one. Get the health up. And we'll get a relic as well, we'll get Sprint. Yeah. So we are starting to contribute a little bit towards the team. Um, basically, because just really feel unsafe with Bakasur out there. Every time I move from a lane, he's always there. Your right tower has been destroyed. Right, is there. Okay. Die for your master. Enemy incoming right. Enemy your middle tower right is under attack. Enemy incoming right. Where the hell are they? Right, there's Bakasur. So the ISIS must be right there. They are diving really deep here. Retreat. Okay. What do we want to do? Come on, Shiba, what are you doing? Oh! <laughs> oh my god! They were, uh, they, were, they were only 200 gold behind! 250 gold behind! <laughs> 250 gold behind! Oh my god! I suppose we were we were fighting pretty well at the end there, I suppose, but you know it's still it's still not there, it's still not there. So it was a little bit of a short game. We didn't really manage to get into the game and get um get the abilities going and get the farm going. Uh but I mean it wasn't too bad. We, you could see that we, once we once we got the Doom Orb uh, built and about a couple of stacks, we were actually starting to clear the way quite quite fast, which is which is interesting. Um, I'd like to try and put that to more use. This Ravana though, holy shit, ten and zero. <laughs> yeah, I think that's probably what he said. <laughs> oh, dude was fed as shit. <laughs> Bologna one and six. 
Oh my god, ISIS was doing really well. I was getting shit on by ISIS, but still, still. Oh, uh, so Alpash is one of those guys. He's he's really really good um, for space control, and um, because of the confined areas of the jungle, it works quite well in the jungle as well. I haven't actually got used to him so much. Um, I've had a few games. I've well, I think I've got I've got a master here. I've got a master on another account as well. So I am. I do know him a little bit, but I haven't got into the swing of it to really get to know how he works and get the full potential of him, which is something I want to get used to. Um, but he's all about the space control. Um, when he throws out, he's, he throws out his corpses, and the corpses stay on the ground. If he picks them back up, then he gets um, life and mana back, um, and he can also detonate the corpses for quite a lot of damage. The only problem is trying to throw the corpses at someone and blow them up and catch them in the blow up is a little bit difficult sometimes at the longer ranges at the closer ranges though it's really really easy it's really really quite effective um i was kind of hoping that we'd be able to see one up be able to see a fenrir a fenrir alplash combo where the fenrir picks them up and we just hold and just holds them in the alplash hump to get the maximum damage off uh, but we didn't actually get to see that happening although um, let's have a look at our damage deal. I don't think we'll be able to see anything here. 9,000 player damage, more than the Kepre, more than the Fenrir, and um, not as much as the as the Ravana, obviously, and not as much as the Shibalaki. The Shibalaki was going to, I think, was getting a, quite a good game in the dual lane as well. So not a, not a bad game in comparison with our teammates. Um, obviously, less than the Bakasura. Less than the enemy ISIS, but more than the rest of the enemy team. So not an, uh, an average game. The kill death ratio is obviously really really bad, um, but I think we managed to get it, get, get some of the, get some work done um, after we stopped getting horribly camped by the the big Bakasura. Um, whether he was actually camping me hard or not is remains to be seen. But it just felt every time I was in lane, he was just always there ganking the shit out of me. Um, which is unfortunate, and I seem to get a little bit of BM from my team about that. If the if the Fenrir had seen it from my perspective, I hope he'd fucking understand it. But it's one of those things you can only you can't really you can't really do that sort of thing. But a short game, but a win nonetheless. I wish it could have been better, but you know, at the end of the day, a win's a win. Anyway guys, hope you like the gameplay, I hope you do like the commentary, as always, like, comment, and subscribe, and as always, GG.